Dominic, can you uh, can you kind of tell when you did get definitive word from Coach Cal that, that you had an offer there and that, that you could commit there if you wanted to? Yes, uh, he gave me a he gave me a four hour scholarship and I, and he said I could commit if I wanted to and I talked to, I talked to Coach O yesterday and he was telling me good luck with what happened today and everything else. When did you hear you had an offer? Yeah, the day we went to practice. We knew we we basically that the week after the state tournament when they invited us to practice. Coach Cal called Dominique and myself up to the that's when he told us yeah. basically that the few guys got the ball. We just were not allowed to say anything. How surprised were you with the offer and the first time Kentucky called you? What was your reaction that UK really wanted you? Uh, uh, I was, I was basically shocked. Like once they offered, uh, because they do nothing but get the best players. But I know I'm a good player, but I, I wasn't expecting it. Though, but I guess I am a great player now that Kentucky offered me. So it was amazing. What are you thinking about joining such an unprecedented squad like Coach Cal's going to have next year? Uh, that it's going to be really fun, and all the guys that's on the team is is very talented, and, and I know that I could compete with them, and I'm just going to get better every day working with them and practicing stuff, and hopefully it's going to be a great season next year for us. Dominique, what other schools offered your scholarship? Uh, South Carolina, Purdue, Western Kentucky, Morehead State, uh, Tennessee Tech, and, and I think uh, uh, Mary State and Mary State. That's right. What do you think those uh, practices are going to be like, and especially going up against the Harrison Twins next season? Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, Going against him, I know I know I played him once before, and I showed him what I got, and they they played good too, and I know it's going to be competitive when we go, get on the floor, and I'm gonna have a great time guarding him, and I'll make him have a great time guarding me, and it's just going to be fun. For those people that haven't got to see you play, obviously everyone in Kentucky has, but maybe those people outside of Kentucky, what kind of player is UK getting out of Dominic Hawkins? Uh, they getting a tough nose point guard, a, a guy that can be a that's learning how to be a leader, but he's going to be a leader, and a, a guy that can get his team involved, uh, a guy that's tough on defense and pressure the ball great. Dominic, I guess if you'd have gone to some of those other schools, maybe, a, I don't know, if, what your, just kind of what were your thoughts on maybe having a chance at some of those other schools to play a lot, maybe more right away versus if you go to Kentucky and having to, to battle for, for playing time as a freshman? Was that, a, you know, just what are your thoughts on, on that as far as, you know, kind of probably, what, you know, or, or what, are your, what are your expectations as a freshman for how much you may get to play and, and versus maybe if you'd have gone somewhere else, what that would have been? Uh, I feel like it's going to be the same because uh, Coach Joe told me that nobody's guaranteed a starting spot. You just got to come and compete, and that's what you do at every school. Nobody gets gets a starting spot just because they're All-American or anything. So you just got to come to compete. Uh, two or three months ago, did this seem possible that you could be committing to Kentucky? Did I think this was possible? Yeah. No. Uh, not at all. Uh, uh, not many schools are looking at me two or three months, so that's one reason why I don't think it's possible. But since we made this run down the stretch of the season and win the state championship, I was like, this is very possible now. Uh, 
Uh, Dominic, even with uh, you know amazing class coming in next year, what are your expectations going into your first year of college? Uh, just, just, just being a player that can help the team uh, find my role, what I got to do to help the team, and whatever I got to do, that's what I'm gonna do, just to help the team. Now, Marquis Sestel is another Madison Central alum. Can you talk about your relationship with him and how that's helped with hopefully the transition to UK? Uh, yeah, Marquis, he's actually my cousin, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's been putting putting words in Cal Perry ears for me and stuff like that, and, and that's who, and uh, that's what, that's why I was maybe able to stay stay in touch with Coach Cal and Coach Joe because of Marquis. <laughs> I didn't mean to get you in trouble. <laughs> Uh, you spoke about playing the uh, Harrison Twins earlier in the year. Have you kept in contact with them since you played them? And uh, what do you remember about that matchup? Uh, I haven't kept in contact with them. And I just remember, I don't re remember too much because that's like maybe the second or third game. But I just remember I had 29 points. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is some kind of tongue-in-cheek here, but are you looking forward to a little bit different travel situation other than on a school bus with uh, Coach Feldhouse for these road games? Oh, uh, yeah. It's going to be tiring, I bet, because I'm going to have to get used to it. And it's going, well, going around, it's basically going around the world, it's going to feel like for me, because I don't go out of state very much. I just go to Florida, and that's probably the only other state I've been staying in, so it's going to be fun. Dominic, it's pretty well documented that playing point guard for Cal can be a difficult situation. How are you prepared for that and working with Coach Feldhouse? How are you ready? Uh, uh, I feel like I'm very ready. Uh, I'm going to just do whatever he asks me to do for point guard. And I know he had tremendous point guards come in, and hopefully I can become one once I go there for a couple of years and become a great point guard. Uh, Dom, if a scholarship offer had never come for Kentucky, uh, what uh, what school were you really looking at the hardest, you know, after Kentucky? Uh, definitely Western Kentucky because they kept contact with me almost every day. And that's, that, that was probably my option if, I, if Kentucky probably didn't offer it.